Good morning folks, Switcher here. What do we have for you today? We have an inbox for you. Before we go there, I would like to draw your attention uh, to the uh, short bio that is upcoming prior to the product review in itself. And uh, for those who have been following my channel, uh, good buddy Pauler sent me patent command vehicle and I decided to, uh, what greater honor than uh, to put uh, his opponent, okay, on the same vignette, and that uh, would be uh, Rommel. Now, these two generals respected each other uh, tremendously, okay, because of their professionalism. They were both controversial figures, mind you, but one of the things that came from the Allies is the Rommel's treatment of uh, prisoners uh, was uh, second to none, okay? The, they were falling soldiers, and they were treated with the utmost respect as prisoners of war, and I know it's not in this particular bio, but is in uh, this bio was compiled from about the five or six uh, things on uh, on Rommel. But one of the things it was is that uh, he did not believe in uh, the the final solution and all kinds of other crap that uh, is unbeknownst to, to folks. Okay, uh, depending how things were portrayed. And uh, I believe that he does deserve uh, a place, okay, against his uh, greatest opponent, which was uh, uh, Patton. Let's watch. This is what we're reviewing today. It's the German uh, horse, uh, KFZ-15, uh, uh, during the North Africa campaign. And uh, that was uh, Rommel's uh, command vehicle. It's uh, Tamiya's Rebox in the Battalion Kit. And uh, Tamiya's uh, kit number is a 37015. Uh, came to the conclusion about this vehicle, okay, through a lot of help of uh, Hamilcar Barkas, okay, also known as Michael. Anybody wants to know anything uh, German, uh, please refer back to uh, Michael. Uh, he believes in helping anyone in need. And uh, there was a lot of vehicles out there. And uh, through conversations with Michael, uh, we came up with this one. Uh, the real, real vehicle that can be seen, okay, uh, is a 1 in 72 scale. And, of course, that would not fit in Irving yet. So we went with uh, number two. And there's a couple of things that are not quite correct on this. If we look at some of the pictures, uh, the spare tire over here, okay, uh, was uh, not a part of it. 
And the same as this uh, this uh, tripod machine gun, but we'll uh, dispose of that. The nice thing about this kit, it comes with uh, three figures, and it comes with some accessories that are really interesting for something else, okay? Uh, there's a table there and uh, different things and so on and so forth. That'll be uh, put into the, uh, how do you call that, uh, the box there where uh, props. <laughs> so... Uh, Without further ado, uh, let's go see what's in this box. And uh, there's not much on the box art, uh, as can be seen. Okay, uh, there's not very much uh, going on there. And here's an example of what's in the kit. We see uh, the soldier standing, and uh, we're going to have to adjust the focus here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, there's a table and chair there, and so on and so forth. There's a briefcase. Uh, the table is going to wind up in my LRDG dio, and uh, the soldier uh, is, is, is not quite uh, kosher here, unless I'm going to have to have a closer look at him, and uh, so on and so forth. And uh, that's about the size of it. We're not going to look at the end, so uh, let's go see uh, what's in the box. And uh, you know me, I always start with the instructions, and then uh, we have a look at uh, the goodies and so on and so forth. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> starting with the instructions. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to zoom in on those folks. Uh, don't fret. Do, 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 uh, focus, switch your focus. Do, 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 do. There we go. And uh, we're going to have to give that a little bit more gain. Okay, for the instructions, so we can... Uh, about there, I guess. That looks about right. So, uh, the normal history uh, on the vehicle. And what is to be pointed out here, okay, with regards to uh, Rommel's command car, uh, unlike Patton, Patton was a prima donna, okay? <laughs> Although uh, he would call uh, Monty and Rommel prima donnas as well, okay? Patton was a real true uh, prima donna in that he made... He had vehicles made for him, okay? Whereas... Uh, Rommel uh, took what was off the shelf, for the lack of a better words, and uh, used that as his uh, command vehicle. So we got a little bit of history here on uh, the vehicle itself, and then we go uh, right into the instructions. Okay, we have uh, the normal paint call out here, uh, the tools that are required to build this stuff, and various uh, symbology. Okay, and uh, pay attention uh, to this kit. We'll go through it at the instructions. Uh, uh, with you, and uh, there's some uh, interesting notes that there's a lot of carving going on in uh, this particular uh, model. So I want to uh, clear the front of my desk there so we can uh, squeeze these instructions uh, where they need to go. And in step one, uh, we're starting to build uh, the chassis, uh, not the chassis, but uh, the cab, okay, and the floor and so on and so forth. And as we can see here, this little symbology at the top says there's going to be some cutoffs, okay? So in this particular case, we have to cut off uh, this particular piece and that particular piece. Uh, I don't use a hobby knife. I use my chisels to do that. But nonetheless, uh, there's a lot of this going on throughout the instructions. And please pay attention exactly uh, where this stuff is, uh, is going to happen at. Uh, here's an example on page two. And uh, although they don't have it per se uh, over here, like uh, on the other picture where it says uh, there's going to be some cutting, uh, they have the knife installed there, and they're showing you exactly. Some of these are simple gates, but some of them are actual parts that have to be removed. And uh, so that is that. <clears throat> so step two, we continue to build uh, the... Uh, <clears throat> Um, the chassis, for the lack of a better word, and here we can see here uh, where that tire would go, and I have to uh, really think about uh, what I'm going to do here, if I'm going to portray it with the tire, or just fill in that gap, but of course at the bottom we got that reinforcement plate that's going to have to be uh, done, so careful, I'm going to be uh, inspecting this there, when we do the review here, uh, when we see the parts, I'll have a look at this and then uh, formulate a decision. Uh, a lot, a lot of parts that are going into this particular bill, okay? And uh, the same thing happens, uh, okay, step number four, just uh, assembling the seats, and we're carrying on with the fenders, da-da-da-da. Uh, continues, uh, you know, with uh, the underneath, okay, the transmissions and uh, transfer cases and so on and so forth. 
uh, building the suspension, which uh, seems uh, rather uh, kinky, but that's okay. And uh, so a lot of detail, and it's typical of a Tamiya kit that they would go in that. But then again, uh, you got to remember, this is a reboxing by Tamiya of an Atari kit. Okay, uh, here we have our wheel assemblies. <clears throat> okay, and uh, putting it on the vehicle. And they're carrying on down here, okay, in step number 10, okay, putting uh, the chassis onto the frame and so on and so forth. <clears throat> And uh, installing the exhaust over here and uh, various uh, boxes, okay, to the underside of the carriage. Uh, assembly of the headlights, whether we want to have them clear or cat's eyes, okay. Um, applying uh, uh, the hood, okay, which is uh, interesting. And the grand total, uh, we have uh, 15... Uh, steps to assemble this entire vehicle okay <clears throat> and right down to uh, it provides uh, I believe it provides uh, two uh, either uh, the, the roll down or the the up uh, canvas we'll have to look in the box to to see that or not I went through a lot of kits so it's kind of hard to say I know one kit comes with both okay and of course uh, here we have our figures Okay, we got the driver and we got the passenger, and of course we've got a a, a commander here. Uh, we'll we'll have to decide if that's going to be Rommel or not. Uh, okay. Um, there was one figure there from uh, the Tamiya set of the five generals. Unfortunately, uh, Rommel's in his uh, letter coat, and although it can be seen occasionally, okay, in uh, South Africa that he did wear that, uh, that is not the appropriate uniform for the theater, okay, he was flying in from uh, from Germany and all that good stuff, uh, so it's something uh, to think about. Uh, the gun will not be mounted, okay, uh, only because uh, it was not uh, mounted in any of the vehicles that uh, we've seen uh, with him. And uh, here's that uh, that table assembly that we talked about that we're going to be using uh, <coughs> someplace else. And then um, we get into the, uh, there's not a lot of this, and there's just, uh, just one page, if I'm not mistaken. No, there's two pages. Okay, there we go. Uh, the front of the uh, page 10, okay, the back. So here are our color schemes, uh, not very much, okay, it's going to be uh, uh, the desert colors and so on and so forth, and um, two different, mar uh, three different set of markings here, we can go to North Africa 1943, uh, North Africa 1942, 43 over here on the, the left, 1942, and uh, 1941, okay. So uh, let's uh, pull some of these sprues out, and uh, we'll start with the, the big bag, and uh, lo and behold, uh, sure enough, folks, uh, mm, this bag is tight. So uh, let's see uh, what we can do about that. There we go. A lot of parts. Uh, the nice thing to note here, folks, is that uh, sure enough, it does come with the uh, the uh, rig to canopy, for the lack of a better word. Okay, and we got to increase our lights here now that we're off the box, so we can see some of this stuff. And uh, we're going to put this back in auto for the gain. We don't need that no more. Hopefully the camera won't go screwy on us. And no, it didn't. And uh, we're going to set up our autofocus once again. Okay, and uh, there we have it, folks. There's the uh, the roof of the car, for the lack of a better word. And a nice uh, detail um, on that. And here we have uh, the floor pan. A little bit of texture there can be seen, okay, on the floor, and uh, 
We'll have to see how the construction goes. There's a couple of plates here. I'm not sure where uh, where these go. Okay, uh, there is that plate uh, for the side that we discussed, okay, in the instruction. This is a rather small vehicle, okay, and uh, I'll have to decide. I had to look at this and uh, see exactly uh, what I want uh, done with them, if I'm going to use them like that or, or what. Um, it is what it is. And uh, here we have our windscreen. Okay, complete with wipers and all that. That's going to be a bitch to paint. <laughs> and, of course, uh, we have uh, the roll-down uh, canopy. That's the word I was looking for earlier. And then that a nice detail to that. A couple of jerry cans. Okay. <laughs> Not bad detail. Focus, you paid. Okay, put my hand behind it. No focus. There we go. Uh, some really, really uh, small uh, parts, fiddly parts, okay, that I call, and so on and so forth. And we're going to have to be gentle of taking them off uh, the sprue. But the nice thing is, is that the gates are rather small, so there's not a lot of stress on them. And there we can see the detail, okay, of the hood sides. Uh, there's texture on the bench, depending on how uh, we view that. And here's the top of its uh, hood. And uh, that's about that for that screw. There's a lot more on there, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, then we get into the suspension and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, once again... There's the, the roll down, if I'm not mistaken, or if that's just a, a tarp, okay, that uh, the kit comes with. I've got to look at the instructions for that, folks. Okay, I don't remember everything I look at. And uh, this is uh, goes on the front of the Jeep. We saw that in the instructions. Uh, no flash to date. Uh, there's a little bit here, okay, on the edge, but uh, easily uh, taken off with a fingernail. When we look at the tow hooks, uh, really, really, really small. When we put that uh, alongside uh, this, uh, my pointy stick there, okay, the diameter of that needle is 1.5 millimeters. So just look at how tiny those things are. So we're going to have very, very delicate. We get into the suspension, okay, here's another example of uh, very, very, very small parts. Okay, so uh, it's a nice kit to date. Uh, there's the, uh, the briefcase. Nice details on that. Uh -huh. Our wheel rims. Okay, the back and this brakes or whatever they want to call it. Uh, it's there with brakes. <laughs> don't have to call them disc brakes. Uh, here are the uh, the canopy arms and so on and so forth. Uh, it comes with. Uh, uh, the clear uh, plastic, and uh, there's uh, enough windows there to to do uh, with the closed canopy or with the open. We will be portraying it open, and of course, like I mentioned, we can go with clear lenses, okay, or cat's eyes. Uh, from what I remember, when I was in the uh, the army and so on and so forth, uh, vehicles were equipped uh, with both, okay, and uh, one was a cat's eye, and the other one was. Uh, one headlight okay so you could run silent or you run silent run deep <laughs> no, not the submarine movie uh and uh, here we have we're going to open up the tires and uh nice rubber okay and uh they're just uh nice threads on there it's beautiful okay if we can focus in on these I love rubber tires. <clears throat> and uh, I guess that was it for uh, <laughs> the uh, the vehicle was that big, large sprue. Uh, because I'm not going to open up these bags. Very tiny parts. Uh, not a lot to see. Uh, we've got all the uh, equipment and uh, stowage and so on and so forth. Uh, a lot of guns. 
Okay, a lot of machine guns over here, and they're all freaking very, very delicate, so I'm not taking them out of the bag. Sorry, folks. Uh, we've got the pistols. Of course, we've got pistols because we got three figures in there, so a lot of uh, thing. There we have the tripod that we're not going to be bothering with. we got some ammo cans down here. And uh, some more uh, ammo cans here for the, the round uh, magazines, okay, I would imagine. And uh, some machine gun magazines here. <clears throat> so quite interesting. Got several uh, several weapons, and we'll see how we're going to portray those. And, of course, uh, we have the figures. And uh, we're going to open up this bag, and uh, we'll see uh, what we got. And, of course, uh, this is the, the standing, sir, because there's this platform and there's a little cactus. There we go, the little cactus that goes in there. And, you know, and it's interesting that it's a prickly pear, okay? And uh, sure enough, I mean, uh, it's got texture on both sides, as can be seen. The... Uh, the figure itself is uh, not bad. The detail is a little soft, uh, especially when we're coming down to the uniform and so on and so forth and on the boots. Uh, compared to the 1 in 16 figure I was looking at the other day, look at the size of the head on that. <laughs> Where's my 1 in? There we go. <laughs> 1 in 35 and 1 in 16. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, so the figures are not too, too bad. I would just leave it at that. The, uh, kind of a misnomer considering that, uh, the driver and, uh, the passenger, uh, the driver is wearing long sleeves, whereas the passenger is wearing, uh, rolled up sleeves. So once again, we'll have to think about, uh, how we're going to, uh, to portray this. Uh, by the way, while we're at it, anybody knows about a, uh, a Rommel figure, okay, in 1 in 35 scale with uh, desert uniform, for lack of a better word, uh, please uh, let me know. You know, was, uh, the internet is a vast, vast area, and uh, sometimes it's hidden in corners that uh, we wouldn't uh, really, really think of. Uh, here we have the decals. Very well, very well done. I'm not sure who makes these. Uh, it says Tammy on here. Uh, well within registry, crisp, and very, very little carrier film outside of the decal. So uh, that is going to be interesting. So uh, that's the review on this puppy. And uh, it will be uh, portrayed, okay, with uh, Patton's uh, WC57 or some of that. And uh, like I said, uh, both generals had the utmost respect of each other, and that is why it's going to be figured uh, prominently on the vignette that will contain both vehicles, Patton's command car, and Rommel's command car. Thanks for watching, folks. Witcher, signing off.